Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another Soul Alone. Now, when you see me, just know your girl Mimi is busy. And today we'll be doing her latest simplicity pattern Soul Alone, which is 9945. And we're doing view B, the jumpsuit. Now, if you're new to sewing, I just need to brush up on your skills a bit. You can go to sewitacademy.com. Go ahead and do the free trial. Come back and sew along with us. Okay, once again, like I said, we'll be using Mimi's 9945 pattern. And we'll be doing view B, which is the jumpsuit. Now, if you turn to the back, you have fabric suggestions up here to the top. And then please don't forget, once you look at your body measurements, depending on what size you have, the finished garment measurement is going to tell you exactly how that's going to fit once you sew it up. Just so you know whether you should go a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Okay, so now we're going to go through all the pattern pieces that we need to cut. So you're going to need pattern piece number 10, which is your pants front. And this is view B. You want to cut two. Pattern piece number 11, this is your pants back, view B. You want to cut two of these. Then we have pattern piece number one, this is your bodice front. Now this is for A and B, depending on which one you're doing. And you want to cut two of fabric, two of lining, and two of interfacing. Pattern piece number three, this is your back strap. You want to cut two of fabric and two of interfacing. Pattern piece number four, your fabric cut one, Lining cut one and interfacing cut one. Pattern piece number five. Now this is your bodice left back. And then this is for A and B as well. Cut one of fabric, cut one of lining and one of interfacing. Pattern piece number two. Now this is your bodice side front, A and B. Cut two of fabric, two of lining and two of interfacing. And then last but not least, you have pattern piece number eight. This is your front facing. You wanna cut one of fabric on the fold and one of interfacing on the fold. And then Pattern piece number nine is your back facing. You want to cut one on the fold of fabric and one on the fold of interfacing. Okay, so now once you cut all your pattern pieces out of your fabric, your lining and interfacing, we can begin sewing. Okay, so before we start, you want to take your bodice side piece and we're going to stay stitch on this corner here at the very bottom, about an inch up and then an inch up this way. And then we're going to make a little slit right in the corner, just like this, okay? Now, once you do that, we're going to turn this right sides facing. We do it this way. And we're going to pin matching up those notches. So it should be a notch on both sides. We're going to pin. Okay. Now, because this is a curve, we might do some slits here on the front bodice piece. Now when we do that, this can spread around the curve here and we can pin. Okay, so now let's head to the machine. We're gonna stitch from one end all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so moving along, I went ahead and pressed that seam open, as you can see here. And now we're gonna go ahead and attach our bodice right back. Now this is the longer one, and you should have a notch that matches right up to that side. And then also we're gonna go ahead and take our strap. Now there should be a notch at the top to attach here. And so you'll know which strap goes to what side, the point should go towards the middle here, okay? So let me go ahead and pin up here as well. Okay, so now let's head to the machine. We're gonna stitch here using 5 eighths of an inch and then across the top. Now go ahead and press both seams open. Okay, so we're back from the machine. Our whole right side of our bodice is almost complete. We have the strap, we have the front, we have the side, and then we also have the back. Now with the lining, you wanna put it get together the same exact way. And then once you get your lining, we're going to line it up and we're going to pin across the center and also with the strap. So you wanna match up 
the seam here first. Okay, now head to the machine, go ahead and stitch all the way down, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so now that we went ahead and stitched across the center front, let's go ahead and do some under stitching. Now we're going to leave the seam allowance towards the right and we're going to stitch on the lining side, right on the right side of that seam, just less than a quarter inch. Okay, now that we're back from the machine, we have the understitching. Now we're gonna flip this back onto itself and we're going to pin along this side here and then just here, leaving the bottom open here, okay? So let's go ahead and match up these seams and start pinning. Okay, so before we head to the machine, we're gonna start here, stitch all the way down, and we're gonna stop at that first dot. Back stitch, break our threads, we're gonna continue with the other dot. This right here is to put our strap into, and then we're gonna continue, pivot, go around, pivot again, and go all the way until we get here to the bottom. And then this right here is gonna be left open, all right? So let's head to the machine. Okay, so I'm actually starting at the bottom here. I'm gonna back stitch. Pivot. Pivot again. Now this is our first dot, you wanna back stitch. Cut that thread, shift over to the other dot. Okay, now we're back from the machine. Let's go ahead and trim some of these seams. Okay, now let's turn the right side out. Point out your corners. All right, now go take this to your pressing table and give it a really good press. And then you want to go ahead, put your left piece, it's on the right here, but this is the left. You wanna put it together the same exact way. And before you attach the lining to it, I'm gonna show you what we're going to do right before pinning it together, okay? So go ahead and give it a good press, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm back from the pressing table as you can see. Now because this goes like this, remember we left that little opening. Now you can just put that in there and adjust it and then you can just add stitch it right to the top and that will keep that secured, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pin it for right now until we're able to fit it for her. And then I'm just gonna put it to the side. Now, with our left side, you should have cut one and three eighths of an inch of skinny elastic. I didn't have any but the quarter inch, so I'm gonna make this work. So what we're gonna do is, you want to turn it just like this. Turn it just like that. Okay, so I made a mistake earlier. When we do the, with the elastic, the raw edge is supposed to be facing the raw edge here, okay? And you wanna give yourself about a quarter inch from the edge, and you want to pin that just like this, okay? So the loop is supposed to be towards the inside, and the flat edge is supposed to be towards the end, okay? So go ahead and place the rest of them the same exact way and base them down. So when you base them, they're supposed to be just like this. Now you can continue to the next step. Take your lining and you wanna pin it and sew it the same exact way we did the other one, making sure that we leave that opening here between our dots for the straps. 
and then also at the bottom. Okay, so we're back for the machine. As you can see, we have our elastic like this right here on the left side. So now that we have this here, now remember we have that opening there. That's where you want to tuck it in and make your adjustments. And then we'll add stitch it to the top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one back and one front. Now you want to go ahead and make your darts. Now with darts, you should know you back at the beginning, but not the end, you tie a knot. And then also you want to stay stitch across the top. Then also you want to press your seam towards the center back or the center front, depending on if it's the front or the back. So now let's go ahead and grab one of our fronts and then one of our backs and we're going to match up. Make sure that you have the centers facing the same way. And we're gonna go ahead and pin on the center, on the inside seam, okay? So go ahead and lay your pant leg down. There should be a notch. And then after you do that, you wanna continue all the way to the top and then to the bottom. Okay, so head to the machine and go ahead and stitch this down using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Do that, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so now that we're back from the machine, as you can see, we went ahead and attached and then pressed that seam open down here to the bottom. And then you want to do the other one the same way. And then now we're going to pin across the inside. So you want to pin that seam first. That should be two notches for the front and then three notches for the back. Okay, now head to the machine. We're gonna stitch all the way down through the seam and then up the other end using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. And as you can see, we went ahead and pressed that um, middle seam open on the front and also the back. And I've already pinned. So on the right side, which is on the left, when you turn the right side out, this is gonna be the right side. But so right here on the right side, I, would, I pin and you want to stitch all the way down to the hem using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance using a regular straight stitch. And then on the left side, which is on the right right here, and like I said, once you turn the right side out, this will be the left side. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a basting stitch up until we get to the notch. And then we're going to cut our threads, backstitch, cut your threads, and then we're going to do a regular stitch all the way down to the hem, okay? So let's go ahead and go to the machine and I'll show you how to do this one. And then we can do this one um, the same exact way minus the basting stitch at the top. Okay, so we're doing a basting stitch here. I'm just gonna back stitch just once. Now this is gonna be for our zipper. Cut your threads. Okay, now you wanna change your um, stitch to a regular stitch. Okay, so now continue all the way down to the hem using a regular stitch, five eighths of an inch away from the edge. Okay, so now you want to sew the other side the same exact way, minus the basting stitch at the top. You want to do a regular stitch all the way from the top to the bottom on the other side. Okay, so we're back from the machine and on the side that we did the basting, right here, which is the left side, you wanna go ahead and grab your um, invisible zipper. And as you can see, it's better to have a longer one so you have room up on the machine. And then you want to, the top of the zipper coils to be 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge, okay? So with the zipper facing down, you want to match it up in between that seam and three fourths of an inch. You want to make sure that zipper pull is right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin it in place just on one side. Making sure that we keep it in the center of that seam. Okay, now let's go ahead to the machine. We're gonna base both sides down, both seams, and then we're gonna get close to the coils 
to make the invisible zipper invisible. Okay, so we're only working on just the seam allowance on one side and that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just base this down and make sure you switch over to your zipper foot. Okay, now let's switch this around and we're gonna do the same exact thing, but to the other side. Make sure that the zipper, the center of the zipper is in the center of that seam. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and remove the basing stitch. Okay. And then we can unzip it. And then you can unzip it past where we stitched that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay it right back down. But this time, we're gonna open up these zipper coils and switch over to a regular um, length stitch. And we're gonna get as close as we can to the coils without stitching through them. Now, if you like to, you can switch back over to your regular presser foot. Um, if you want to use the zipper foot, you can, but I just like the pressure that this one gives you. Then you'll see is right there where the coils are at. So you want to do the other side the same exact way. Okay, we're back from the machine. Go ahead and take your zipper and pull it through. And then on the other side, it should be invisible just like that. Okay, so we can cut this off a little bit later. I can go ahead and tack that down. So let's go ahead and finish up this jumpsuit. Turn it right side out. Okay, we're facing the front. Okay, so we should have some notches here. You wanna grab your bodice now. Now this right here goes right there, matching up those notches. And you wanna pin through all layers. And then the same thing to the other side. Okay. So go ahead and base across the top here and then here and come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. We're going to go ahead and base this down and put that to the side for right now. And then now we're going to do our facing. Okay, so with the wrong side facing up, you should have this shape right here for the front and then this for the back looping down. So go ahead and right sides face it and pin matching up that notch. Go ahead and stitch this across using five eighths of an inch seam allowance, press that seam open, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so moving right along, as you can see, we have this, the facing with the pressed seam here. And we wanna match this point here, right with the center. And we're gonna pin. Now there should be notches to match up around the sides. Now you want to unzip that invisible zipper and turn the zipper facing in this way. And then we're going to go ahead and match that up. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna continue pinning. Now, before you actually pin this, I could probably should have said this before we started, you can serge the bottom of this here if you want a clean finish. Because the fabric doesn't fray for her, um, we're just going to do it just like this. But if you do want a cleaner finish, now is the time to do that before we pin it. All right, now there's a side seam here where we have no zipper on the other side. You want to make sure you pin and align that. Two notches in the back. Now the same thing, you want to turn that zipper in just like this and then pin it. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine. We're gonna stitch up, 
pivot across the top, go all the way through the center front, and then once we get to the other side of the zipper, we're going to pivot and go down to this side. All right, so let's head to the machine and knock this out. Okay, so on the zipper side, you can use a zipper foot, but I just went ahead and just moved my needle over, so I won't have to do that, but if you want to use a zipper foot, you can. So you want to back at the beginning and also at the end, using 5 8 7 inch seam allowance. Okay, now that we're in the center, you want to pivot over, making sure everything is laying flat in the center. Okay, one last pivot. Okay, so now we're back from the machine. I'm just gonna trim this corner down just a little bit. I'm gonna keep most of the seam allowance, especially around the zipper. Trim some of the seam allowance in the center. Now if you're trimming, don't trim too much because I will be doing understitching. You can understitch this the same as we did the bodice. Okay, so when you understitch, make sure your seam allowance is facing the facing, and then just stitch right on the facing side, just past that seam, okay? So go ahead and do that, and we're gonna give it a really good press, and we'll finish up. All right, so once you turn it right side out, give it a good press. The last thing you need to do is just add your buttons on the right side, here and then they'll hook just like that on the back and be sure to edge stitch your straps in here after you make those adjustments and finish up your hem and when you do that you're all done all right congratulations now i hope you enjoyed this course now be sure to tag mimi at mimi g style and we will see you in the next so long